this video is sponsored by Roid Me. What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivon here back with a new video and today we have another condo hunting video. So previously, five months ago, I was looking for a condo in Toronto. I couldn't really find anything because I was looking with friends. We did find a couple places, but then someone eventually backed out and like a lot of paperwork issues, it was really hard. So then I just skipped on that. I stopped looking for like two or so months. And then for the previous three, three or two months, I've been looking like a lot. And it's been really hard because the Toronto market right now is just insane. The prices are fluctuating. A lot of the pre-pandemic or pandemic prices, they're going skyrocketing. So like stuff that you could find for 1800 are now at like 2200 2100 a month. My budget is $2,000 for the condos and I'm gonna show you a couple of nice ones I think I like today. So my checklist isn't really nothing too crazy. Being in the core of Toronto gets expensive. So the average condo in Toronto right now in the core is like for 500 to 600 square feet, it's around $2,000 or from 1800 up to 2100. So like 18 to 2100, you could get like a nice 500 to 600 square foot unit. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a unit that has nice, bright, natural light coming in. I don't want to be too low. I want to be up like to the 15th to 20th floor. Views is kind of important to me as well. I just don't want to be too close to buildings or just looking at, I don't know, just, you know, I like to have like nice city views or a lake view or something like that. But then again, it's not really so important because now I just really need to move. Thirdly, I need a good location, meaning that, you know, it's close to like groceries, um, entertainment, just stuff that's close by. I don't really have to walk too far just to get something from like a uh, shopper's drug mart or um, a Dollarama if that's close by, you know what I mean? I just, I just want to go downstairs, you know, walk two, three minutes and hey, I got myself a drink, you know what I mean? So I would be really happy if I'm close to the Union Station. If you guys don't know what that is, in Toronto, the Union Station is like one of the main train stations where you could go and get to different places across the city. So the fourth thing I was really looking for is a corner unit. I think that kind of blends in hand in hand with natural light because with corner units, you get tons of sun coming in. I just love the outlay, I love the design and the aesthetic of a corner unit. But then again, those are just things that I've come to reality that I might not get from my budget in the city of Toronto. So maybe that's out the window. Next up a must have for me is an in-suite washer and dry unit. Lastly, I would say is a balcony. A like a balcony is needed for me. I just feel like I'm trapped inside a box. So a balcony is definitely something I'm looking for. Yeah, that's about it for my criteria and everything I listed will be shown in today's video. But before we go, I wanna show you guys something quickly that I got for my condo. There's a lot of things that I have like still in the box. I just can't wait to move out and unbox all these stuff. Okay, here we go. Ah, inside this box is the Rodeme X30 Pro cordless vacuum. I don't know about you guys, but when you move into a new condo, you have to keep it clean. I'm not gonna use a mop. This thing could mop, it could clean, all that good stuff. So also thank you Rodeme for sending this out for the new condo. And let's show you guys what's inside the box. Here we have it, the Roidme X30 Pro 2-in-1 cordless vacuum cleaner. First off, the unboxing experience, stellar. Really love how they situated everything. And we have a whole arsenal of accessories that we could choose from. It comes with a pet brush that would tracks easily to remove the hair or fur from your pets. It comes with a special tool for your mattress, which is really nice to see. We have the V-shaped roller brush, which is the electric brush. We have the crevice tool with the removable brush head and also the water tank module. Now, as I said before, this is a twin one vacuum. So it's not just a vacuum cleaner. It also comes with a mop head and the mop head can be attached to the back of the main roller magnetically. And we also have a spare mop cloth so we could remove it and wash them while we have one going at the same time. If you peel back this rubber right here, you could add water inside and this allows you to vacuum and mop at the same time, which is really neat. But if you just want to only vacuum, you could just remove the mop head and you're good to go. Okay, so right here, this is the main unit of the vacuum. And it also has a double filtration system, which comes with a built-in dustbin. You also get an extra filter in the box, which is nice to see. Also guys, you don't have to worry. It's very easy to put together. Each part's just snapping as you go and very easy to take off as well by the press of a button. This is a very powerful vacuum with three different levels of intensity. 
standard which shows this blue animation perfect for just casual everyday vacuuming high which shows this green animation this is when you have to get stuff like bigger dust particles or maybe food crumbs that you need to clean up and then finally we have max power which shows red and the max level is really really powerful this is for getting dust and dirt off your carpets going to tight spots but just bear in mind that the max level will really take a hit on your battery life so only use it when necessary one thing i liked is the fact that the vacuum has an led light which turns on automatically if it gets really dark as you could see here when i was cleaning under the couch and it's also flexible enough to get into tight spots and awkward areas this is my first ever vacuum with a smart screen which shows me real-time performance reports and it's also convenient enough shows my calories burnt while I'm vacuuming so I could keep track of my fitness goals. I also have the Roid Me Companion app on my iPhone so I could check the vacuum's power, cleaning time, to check on if the dustbin is filled or not and also the filter replacement reminder straight through the app. In terms of battery life, there's a 70 minute runtime, and you also could see on the screen exactly how many minutes you have left before you need to charge again. And look how top class this vacuum is, it actually comes in a magnetic wireless charger for convenience or you could just use the charging port available for charging. Honestly, this is a very nice well designed vacuum, it matches my aesthetics, it's lightweight, very easy to use, 2 in 1 vacuuming and mopping i just can't wait to use this in my new condo so if you guys are interested in this vacuum to keep your place looking spick and span click the first link down below in my description and thanks again roid me for sponsoring today's video and getting me right for my first condo all right guys so we're at the first unit right now and as you can see it looks like it's not finished and that's because it isn't this is like what you call a pre-construction so it's, that's a good tip if you're looking for somewhere try to get into a pre-construction because the prices are nice and the unit will be brand new so you'll be the first person to live in it so i'm kind of excited about this one let's see what it looks like inside though So here we have the first unit just under $2,000 in the St. Lawrence market area. It's brand new. It's a super sleek unit with floor to ceiling windows, which caught my eye when I first saw the pictures. I was like, yo, have to check this out in person. It's a one bedroom unit that's connected to the windows. So I can only imagine waking up in the morning, you get lots of natural sunlight. Love that. The balcony was next level, tons of room for activity. Honestly, it was a pretty decent view, no CN tower or anything, but it's all cool. At the end of the day, it's just a CN tower. The den area was catfish though. I'm not sure if my desk can even fit inside this den. So that really took points off for me. To the right of the den was a four piece washroom. Nothing too crazy, had all the essential stuff, including the bathtub. You don't really see that a lot. The in suite washer and dryer was present too, was decently sized appreciate that the kitchen space was really nice i would add some points for the gas stove and all the whirlpool stainless steel appliances there was tons of storage space in the kitchen area overall this unit was pretty decent i just got catfished by the den area so that was what really made me skip on this one but yeah the views are nice tons of space but on to the next one Oof. all right guys we just made it to east liberty First thing I can say is that the community looks very nice down here. And yeah, we're just gonna go into the building. Let's see what they have to offer. Let's go. Yeah. Did they like refurbish anything? Uh, they did actually extend this section because before it was just that section before. Mm -hmm. This looks sick. This wall thing is trippy. So this is the second unit. It's a one bedroom with a so-called den area. Walking into the unit for the first time, I was greeted with nice natural lighting, floor to ceiling windows again, because yes, I just love the natural light. I'm, I'm not Batman, all right? The kitchen area was really good as well, compact, great use of space, honestly, a lot of storage, and the balcony was south facing, so I could actually see the exhibition go station and the Toronto FC stadium, which is really cool. The bedroom space was large, pretty large for the price range just under two thousand dollars especially in toronto there there's decent closet space as well couple small built-in storage off to the sides you already know i'll just fill that up with like boxes camera boxes and all that stuff i like how the door from the bedroom leads onto the bathroom almost like a primary bedrooms now guys let's take a look at this den area tell me if this makes sense 
you see after i saw this den i just had to go because why list this as a den it's literally just a small space in the corner it's like right as you enter the condo you see it personally i'll just put my shoes there and my vacuum stuff there <laughs> like what is this a den come on guys there is also a coat closet on entry though to the left which i love because winter jackets tend to take up a lot of storage space so that's nice to see but overall the space was decent uh, i didn't like the area because it was it wasn't really in the core it was kind of far and i don't drive and also the den space just didn't really do it for me man honestly so today is day two of condo hunting the last couple units we saw it was all right you know what i'm saying we saw some pretty nice units one was kind of a weird layout but today i'm really excited because we're gonna see a penthouse unit so yeah day two let's go baby first thing i should say the lobby looked amazing the hallways are really nice I think this is a new building, right? Yeah. Yeah, fairly new building. Really excited to see this one. Um, this is 2000 a month. And I'm not sure if it comes with Hydra or anything, but I just want to see inside. So let's go. All right, the third spot was pretty clean. It was darker than the other units I've seen so far. And my realtor said it doesn't get as much natural light, which is all right. I don't know about you guys, but when I heard the penthouse, I thought it was going to be something crazy, but I was wrong. This is a one bedroom unit, probably the smallest unit I've seen all year. Yes, it's by the lake. I think it's awesome. The fact that you could be connected to the waterfront trail and get city views is pretty, it's pretty decent. If I wasn't a YouTuber and had all this camera gear and equipment and all I did was just a nine to five job, this would be a decent spot for me. It's slightly a different configuration though from all the rest we've seen because the bedroom has like a sliding door and it doesn't have a closet inside, which I personally don't like. By the way, for this unit, I didn't know what it looked like beforehand, so this was like a blind date for me. As you guys can see, the kitchen area is pretty modern. The washer and dryer was present, loved that. And there's also a little storage space right next to it. Also, we have a four piece bathroom, looked really nice, had storage behind the mirrors, great use of space the balcony wasn't the largest but at least we had a balcony so i could get some fresh air whenever it's honestly a great spot i like the waterfront trail because it's nice to go on walks or for runs especially in the summertime it's close to the distillery district the st lawrence market it's not bad honestly but just not enough space for me no natural light really coming in literally nowhere for me to put a desk set up or anything i just got fooled by the penthouse on the listing i was today years old when i figured out a penthouse could be this small it must be a toronto thing <laughs> right, guys, now we're on the way to the first unit so this one is on the esplanadis uh, would you say it's like downtown it's in the core that be in the core? Yeah, it's in the core. It's uh, 75 Piazza Lawns right in the uh, St. Lawrence Market area. It's so on it's a pretty awesome street, lots of restaurants, lots of bars. Um, close to TTC? Yeah, you can uh, you can literally walk over to King Street Station and take the subway. You're also within walking distance to the uh, Ghost uh, the Union, Union Station. Station. Yeah, that's what I really like. All right, so here's the fourth unit and this one was another blind visit because my manager called me and said hey he has a friend that's leasing a unit but as you can see just walking in here it's very narrow right you have nice floor to ceiling windows of course you guys know i love that huge balcony by the way but you can see how tight though the space is there's no den you just have one bedroom the bedroom was kind of small as well if i measured it up i could hold a single bed in here and my desk setup, but it has to be like one of those like single beds like if i roll i fall off type bed that's the bed i would need it <laughs> you have this small closet area this definitely can't hold all of my clothes i have way more clothes than this so this was a l the kitchen was clean brand new fresh appliances nice pot lights love to see it but guys just think about it if i put down my couch here my tv stand all that i have no space like you can see how narrow this is, right? You have, of course, the in-suite washer and dry unit. Love to see that. I like how that's like a standard right now. And it kind of had a, a couple of space that I could put like my vacuum. Nothing too crazy. The bathroom was really good though. 
I love how it looks. It's a four piece bathroom. You have the, the sink, all that. The lighting is nice. Very decently sized mirror. Love to see it. But yeah, overall, this just didn't have enough space, but it was really good for the price. Just under $2,000. I think it's worth it. And it's kind of in the core of Toronto. So it's pretty close to everything that you need. All right, guys. Yup, it's me again. I'm not sure what day it is. Normally, I'll tell you guys if it's day one or day two, but I honestly lost track. But this unit we're gonna see right now, it's at. Um, do you know how much square foot this one is? Uh, around, around five. This one's 531 square feet, if I remember correctly. One bed, one bath. One bed, one bath. No locker. Um, no parking. South view. South view. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here. One thing I must say so far, this is the cleanest like condo I've been. Elevator is good. Everywhere is just super clean. Love to see it. So I've seen a couple more units before this one, but this one, this is it. This is the best unit I've seen so far. A one bedroom and a one bathroom unit over 500 square feet. It has tons of space for around $2,000. This unit hasn't been listed on the market yet, so it can go for around $2,100 or $2,000. I got an early look, but I'm keeping my eyes on this one for sure. The kitchen and living area is an open concept, just like almost all these one bedroom condos in Toronto. Very huge balcony overlooking the Gardner Expressway and the lakefront views you also get some cn tour views action from the balcony which is nice one thing about this area though it's not as close to the core so i do have to do a lot of traveling which i'm trying to eliminate but for the amount of space i'm getting here for the price i might have to compromise i think i like this one this is it so yeah guys i'm just chilling here really thinking about this one the only thing is just the location is kind of far off from the core which was in like my criteria list so it's not really into the city. It's kind of a walk, not even a walk. It's kind of a transit. <laughs> I'm just doing the thumbnail. All right, guys, I'm really contemplating this one. It looks solid. I'm not gonna lie, look at all the space. I can have my desk set up in the kitchen. That'd be kind of stupid, but I could. I could vacuum up here with my vacuum, you know? Got all this light. Oh man. It's a really good spot. So there you have it. Those are the condos, the type of condos you could find for around $2,000 here in downtown Toronto within my criteria. Let me know which one you guys think looks the best. I personally know which one I'm going for, but let me know down below in the comments. And thanks again, Roy Me, for sponsoring today's video.